what's going on everyone over here on tasting overloads channel if you guys don't know me or what i sound like or if you've never heard me before my name is rushing rounds i am a commentator for dk i like to welcome you guys to tasting overloads channel it's an honor and a pleasure of me having the introduced introduction of me introducing myself to you guys and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy the commentary today because i wanted to talk about some stuff before after I introduce the gameplay. So let me introduce the gameplay first. What I have for you guys today is uh, MW3 Triple Mob in Money in the Dank on C-Town. Money in the Dank, if you guys don't know, it's a enhanced version of Sabotage where if, you're, if you pick up the bomb, you are allowed to have a Juggernaut suit and you run around with the Desert Eagle. And also this is, this comm is for the Tap XRC on his channel, so Hopefully, thank you to whoever's watching from TapX. Hopefully, you guys pick Tasty and Overlord as a dual package for this because, honestly, I think they're two of the best people out there right now that are working on YouTube and uh, pumping out some great content and some comms. But, ta Tasty, let me have the pleasure of doing a comm today for you guys. It's a pleasure. So, let me get right into it. What I wanted to talk about today was just how I got started into gaming what games did I do? What games did I play when I was younger? How how much is it enhanced now? Because back in 99, 2000s, so that's when the start of the internet games came out. And that's when I really started getting into some big name titles that were a couple years older. But they were really good. GoldenEye, uh, Unreal Tournament, Doom. Call of Duty 4 on the PC. I originally started on the PC, so I know how to work a mouse and keyboard pretty well, but nowadays I just can't because obviously it's been a while since I played COD 4 on the PC, and therefore, you know, I need to refresh everything that I once did. But before I went to console, I played a lot of shooters on the PC and a lot of recreational games like Roller Coaster Tycoon, SimCity just basic build your own civilization games or build your own whatever the hell you want to call it and those were honestly fun to do because you could build whatever you want and it didn't really have a uh didn't really you know wasn't really competitive or didn't have a competitive value behind it and that was fun when i moved over to console however it was different. I was, for the first couple months, I was stuck trying to figure out how to use the controller again because I did have a PS2 at the time, and that time I was playing sports games. But when I bought the Xbox around 2009, 2010, it was really a struggle. I couldn't figure out what controls I wanted to use, what button layouts. So uh, what everybody does usually nowadays is they go to YouTube and they look up tutorials on how to the controller or anything really is what you can use YouTube for nowadays and I'll talk about on my channel if you guys want to come over to my channel my link will be in the description below also make sure to sub to Tasty and Overlord how I evolved from a keyboard to a controller so realistically in my perspective how I got through all these games was I learned I learned how to play Call of Duty on the controllers compared to the PC because unfortunately Xbox can you can't Xbox is not compatible with the mouse and keyboard It's actually just a naked controller and I have a scuff But nowadays, but I don't really use it that much and that's another topic for another day Otherwise like I've let me recap what I just talked about it was computer games and now I for the last five or six years I've been buying the Call of Duty games and a mix of the Battlefield games too. I actually still have to go find my Battlefield Hardline at the store because I pre-ordered it about two months ago and I don't think I picked it up yet. So that's going to be up and coming. Anyways, thank you to Tasty and Overlord for letting me have the honor of doing a commentary over on Tasty and Overlord's channel. Thank you so much for TapX, the leaders, for watching this, because this is for the TapXRC as well. If you guys didn't know, it'll probably be in the title, hashtag TapXRC. And just overall, I want to give some quick things before. Just a little note on the gameplay. The two, two, two Moabs, it was only 3v3. I'm sorry if I stutter. By the way, I really do apologize if my commenting skills are a little bit off. It's been a while since I've been 
actually back on in front of the snowball doing what I need to do and otherwise whatever and whatnot. So for the first two Moabs, or only two, two, two Moabs, it was only a three versus three. It was probably a bad host or something along the lines of that, but otherwise an amazing gameplay nonetheless. And hopefully you guys enjoyed me talking here. And I really, once again, do apologize if there was any errors. I'm rushing. I'll see you guys. Later. Bye, guys. Peace.